Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the floating tissue and the last time we talked about the jawlin vessels. The floating tissues, as we said before, they used to translocate the organic food substances made by the plant. So this is the function of the flowing tissue. Then what does the flowing consist of? We will draw both transversal section and longitudinal section for the flowing tissue to show this. So this is the transversal section. This is the longitudinal section. So the transversal section looks like this. So this is a view of the uh, flown from the top view like this if we look at it from that point. This plate here, this layer is called a sieve plate or a sieve tube and it's called a sieve tube because it's full of pores which allow the food substances to move through through the cells of phloem, and this cell is called companion cell. These companion cells have a nucleus because the sieve plate or the sieve tube cells do not contain a nucleus. So this nucleus carries out the function of the missing nucleus in the cells of the phloem tissues. So this is a transversal section of the flowing tissue. If we drew the longitudinal section as if it was cut apart while it was standing like this, we will see that its structure looks like this. This is the longitudinal structure. This part is the one that is created here because those parts are the ones like this. So this is the sieve plate. This is the companion cell. And these are the sieve tubes. So, from the structure illustrated here, it's easy for the food to move through these strands, like this, and pass through the pores from one cell to another, and they move by um, the means of the cytoplasm. So that the cytoplasm moves from one cell to another through these pores, till they reach the various parts of the plant, and of course the cytoplasm is carrying the organic meat food and this is a function of the flow. How did the scientists get to know this structure? That's what we'll know in the next video and until then I thank you for watching and see you next time.